now it becomes interesting. We now know about the brain that it responds to stressors by activating the amygdala. The amygdala activates the sympathetic part of your autonomous nervous system. And we now know about the heart rate variability. But the interesting bit is that there's a strong link between these two. Let's explore that a bit further. This is going to be a short video, but important nonetheless. If you can see here from this overview, there's the brain at the top. And we learned about the sympathetic nervous system or fight and flight and the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. Whenever your amygdala perceives a threat, it activates the sympathetic nervous system, as we have seen in previous videos. What we haven't seen yet is that your sympathetic nervous system then lowers your heart rate variability. And the other way around, whenever you're calm, and your parasympathetic nervous system is in the lead, your heart rate variability will increase. So that seems a bit counterintuitive, but you can think of it like this. Whenever you're stressed and when your body is getting ready for action, your heartbeat needs to be in a very strict cadence. And therefore there will be less variability between heartbeats. On the other hand, when you are calm, your heart is relaxed and there's no really a need for this very strict cadence between heartbeats. And therefore, your heart rate variability will be higher. Whenever your sympathetic nervous system is active, your HRV is low. And if you keep that up long term for chronically stressed individuals, for example, you will probably get ill. On the other hand, if you have a parasympathetic nervous system that is active and you can increase that even further, then you will also increase your resilience in your performance. Now that you know about heart rate variability or HRV and the relationship with your nervous system, it's time to start measuring your HRV. You can measure your stress subjectively, but also objectively. And we'll start with the letter 24 seven.